Hi again, welcome to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be having a look at a drive system from a Honda HR194. It's quite an old lawnmower, but the pro mowers to this day, the Honda make, they fit the very similar drive system on them. Uh, but there's a bit of a story with this one. Um, I took the roller system out and the drive system out and it had been messed around with before. I think, well, I'm pretty sure. I think I'll explain it in the video. Um, it had the wrong um, gearbox on it. So it had been messed with. Um, so next door in the shed, I had a complete unit, but I didn't know the history of that. Um, and I do know they suffer with um, one part that wears. And um, what happens is when you engage them, they judder before the drive engages and goes. So what I'll be doing with this drive system I've got at the shed next door is taking the rollers off and then splitting the gearbox and then checking this part and um, probably will replace it because once I've got it apart, I'm not going to risk putting the, leaving the old one in. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But um, all is explained in the video. So we'll get on with that in a few seconds. Uh, but before I get on to that, this is the first time you've been to my channel. Please like and subscribe. Um, it helps my channel grow. And if you could do that, it'd be much appreciated. And yeah, we'll just get on to this now and see if we can sort this drive for this Honda Mower out. So I'll get on with that now. So in front of us, it's a drive system off of this Honda HR194. Um, I didn't show you taking it off of the mower, but I will show you putting it back on the mower. But this might be a few parts, so we'll deal with that when it comes to it. This, I say, is the drive system off of the mower. It isn't actually the one off of this mower. I have that here in bits now. I have the gearbox there. And I have the rollers. It's a long one. That one come off okay. The bearings aren't great in the end though. And we have that one, which was a job to get off. You can see I actually have bent it slightly around there because I was trying to bang it off. And for some reason, them splines don't fit very well on that gearbox. And that gearbox is wrong. There's a few telltale signs. It's been welded there to make that sort of locating bracket there and there was something else as well uh well i think that's wrong as well um i've worked on these gearboxes a few times so i think this is off of a lawn flight they were different and someone's tried to make it fit there's plate in there it's not great yeah a bit of side to side play in there trying to get it apart i broke that oil seal there um, so I've decided to forget about this one at the moment I'll just keep it for spares and work with this one because this is the proper one I know this is off of one of these Honda HR194s there's the locating bit so there's no bracket on this one uh, there's the cable sort of bracket and that's built in so this is right uh, the only job I might have on this is splitting it. it still might be a bit of a job. Uh, hopefully not. Um, I have had people in the past, because I have done a bit of work with these a long time ago on my channel, and I've had people ask, how do you get the roller off if it's stuck on them? Well, I've really only found brute force. You could get heat in there, but then you're going to um, heat up the oil seals and that, and then um, roller bearings in there as well. So it's potentially, well, you've got potential uh, damage you could do and they're not easy to change. They're actually okay in this, but um, you can tell when, the, well, they look okay in this actually, but if you look there, the rollers have been digging into there. But I'm not sure whether that's because this is a gearbox off of a different, well, off of a lawn flight, I believe. So there might be slight differences or, you know, the parts didn't correspond 100% or something. So that's why I'm going to, um, yeah, not go with that. So I don't know about this gearbox. I can't, and well, gearbox and roller system. I don't know what machine it was off. I've broke a few of these in the past and just took them off as that is. Um, I have got a HR1950, a nice one, um, next door in the lean-to. And that had a juddery gearbox. Well, then I picked up a, Honda HR194 with a, a good gearbox 
and it worked, but the deck was poor. So I just used, changed the roller, the drive system over onto my mower. So this could be the old one off of that, or it could be off something else. I thought I labeled that, but this doesn't seem to have a label on it. So I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do, before I go on much more, I'm going to try and get these rollers off and then I'm going to split the gearbox and I'm going to replace probably replace the dog clutch because that's usually the bit if everything else looks okay i'll probably replace that it's um, a 35 ish pound job i will replace that because that's the softest sort of part in there and that's made to wear before anything else so if all the cogs and that will look okay i'll do that but this is going to be a repair on a bit of a budget because i'm not going into sort of 75 80 pound to fix this i want to fix it under 50 pounds so i might have to buy the circlip kits i might have to buy a couple of washers might be able to find something in the drawer that will do and also i hope to go with the oil seals that are in it i don't want to spend hardly anything on this i want to repair it on a budget and get it done so the only thing i'm really bothered about is when i put, push the lever in it doesn't judder before it starts to drive that is a common problem on these hondas um all the models that have this sort of system yeah a lot of them i've had the judder in usually it's that dog clutch that causes that but this one um visually looks okay it doesn't look like it's dug into there at all it seems to be moving freely i've held that in and turned in it does drive but you can't tell whether it judder because you need the engine speed and everything so i'm going to start to take it apart now and i'm going to see if i can get this end off here there is a sort of a bracket that goes on the end but that's had to be took off to take it off the mower and when i took this off of whatever mower it was um, i must put that somewhere else but we have a little washer there, like a little bent type washer like that. Um, so we will need that. Um, ah, that one come off now. And look, it had grease in it. I can assure you I hadn't tried to get that off before. And that was honestly how easy that one come off. And that one on the other one was an absolute pain to get off. So, yeah, hope that other side goes the same. We'll see. I tell you what, don't think it will go like that every time for you if you try to do this because it won't. <laughs> I've had them that are a bit of a pain like that one the other day. So it's nice when it does go like that, but it doesn't very often. Uh, but it's a good sign on this one because that grease is in there. So now I'm just going to wipe that grease off around there. I believe there's a circlip on the end and there is. we'll get that that off and then hopefully our shaft will just push through and then we'll um try and get the other side roller off and then hopefully everything will undo on the gearbox okay i can't see it'll be a problem it's only bolt around there it'll be quite quick to take it apart and then we'll be to the bare bones of the gearbox and then can have a look and check it visually and then go from there and i'll get this part ordered get it in and it should be okay but like i said i'll just check the cogs and everything and see if there's any sort of wear or if there's any sort of metal filings in the bottom of the gearbox or anything but yeah we'll have a look so i'm just going to get the tool for that so let's try these and see if we can get that out nearly Yep, so that's off. So now we'll see if that pushes through. Yeah, that's come off lovely. Honestly, never as easy as that. It's because it's had maintenance with that grease. That's why. And this is actually a serviceable item. When you do a service on one of these old, well, old for all the newer ones because they're, um, they're much the same system now um yeah that is part of the service to check for seals check for any oil leaks and grease it up and just check them over but i would imagine that doesn't get done a lot of the time um because it's a bit of an involved job but as you see today it's gone pretty straightforward and on a newish mower it would be much like this but it's when you're working on a mower that's like 1980s like this one, this would have come off a 1980s mower. Yeah, I reckon it would have been about 90s, or very early 90s perhaps. Um, and yeah, things can be very stuck. But next job now is to take that off. 
and um, all of them out and then I'll have a look inside. Uh, probably filled with oil. Uh, I might fill it with very sort of wet runny grease what I've got. Um, I spoke a while back to a very experienced um, small engine mechanic who's worked on Hondas and that and he recommended this grease grease for me. So I'm curious to know if there's oil in it because the problem is with oil, my thinking is, oil, if it's got a leak, oil will go and there'll be nothing in there. But if it's got a slight leak and it seeps a bit of grease, the grease won't leak out like the oil. So I'm thinking pack it with grease and then it's got more of a chance to stay in there for longer. That's my thinking. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've done it on them before, had no problems whatsoever. And I'll show you the grease when I get to that stage. But at the moment, I'm gonna just get it apart and then we'll see what's what. So before I start doing bolts on this, there is that guard bit at the bottom and you can see it's slightly been pushed in. Well, what happens a lot, and it started to happen on here, but it hasn't gone all the way through yet. That gets worn out, so it isn't there. And then what happens, stones and dirt get in there and then it all gets around there and then that's when it starts getting in the sort of main part of the well bearings and everything and it can get stuck in there and then cut through the oil seals and yeah cause problems so really ideally replace that but what i'll probably do is tap that out and just put a little bit of weld around each side and then grind it down so that'll save me buying one of them so my next step will be undoing these and i'm going to get the impact on them because it'll be much much quicker and then yeah we'll see how much oil is in it that's why i've put the old jumper there just in case it leaks any oil out but if it's like that it should be okay and then yeah we can have a look inside and see what's what so have the sockets in place i need a longer reach one for that one but and i've got to hold the back of some of these as well some i haven't i don't think no some are threaded within the body of the gearbox some aren't so that one's out we have a nut below that just put them to the side and then I'll undo that one there. And that one there. These ones have got a nut the other side as well. So I'll turn that around. Don't worry, really matters what side the nut goes on, but let's remember the nut goes the side of the bulgy of it there. So we get it right. That was. And then let's do that there. They're not that complicated inside these gearboxes. They're not that bad. Um, there is a washer that goes on the end there and that goes where that C, well sir clip is what I took off. So just put that to the side. So I remember to put that in place afterwards. That should come off now. So I'll just leave that bottom thing off. Oh, and that goes a certain way as well. I'll show you what way that goes. Because it hooks round more that side than it does that side. So it hooks round the side of where the shaft comes out, like that. The easiest way to remember it. So let's just get that off. There is some sort of silicon stuff around the bottom. So perhaps someone has been in there. Well, yeah, they could well have been because that grease would, could be a telltale sign that someone's been there quite recently and done a job on it. Have they done a good job? I don't know. But I might have tested this, like I said, might not, I can't remember. So now we'll just undo these other ones and then we should be able to split the gears up. They were a bit tight, but they've come out okay. So now we're to this stage. I'm just going to take that little clip off there, that one. At the moment, I don't actually have to take the other side one off, so leave that be at the moment. Now, I've got to just um, split it. So 
So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is just gently tap it there. Because that's all the only bit has to slip over there. I can feel it coming undone already. I'd rather not put anything in between where it's starting to crack open. But I could on the outside there. I might just do on the outside there. Just to sort of help it a little bit. But... There we go. So... See, it's split quite easy. Um, yeah, there is oil in it, so it's been holding okay. Uh, yeah, that's nice and clean in there. Good clean oil in there. Uh, it does make me think whether I should go back with the oil, but we'll we'll decide that at a later date. Because what they have, and I have got one in the drawer, and I will put it in whatever, but they have sort of like well, like a big O-ring type thing. But you can see someone has put seal around it, and I don't like that. Why have they put seal around it? Was it just as a sort of backup if the seal didn't work? Don't know. But actually, this might be a good time now to bring in, I'll show you that grease I was talking about. So here's the grease I mentioned. That's what I was told to use. And I'll show you what it's like. It is very, very runny grease, if you see that. So that's gonna, it's gonna work in that gearbox. I've done it, I've used it before, so um, I know it works. So I think I will probably go with this because the worst thing is, is to put it all back together and you've got an oil leak. That's the thing that bothers me and I don't wanna be taking this off twice. And like I said, if you have a leak on there, that run, that oil, see how it is and let's just move that to the side that oil is going to come out in seconds if that seal fails which obviously it's been okay because the oil's in there but if that seal was weak and did seep a little bit it would only seep a little bit of grease over time when it's really warm and it would stay in there so i think it's best to put the grease in um, so let me know what you think in the comments. I don't see too many videos of people working on these and taking them apart. Uh, I think a lot of the time now people just buy replacement gearboxes and there is people around that do refurb these and like exchange types of things. But I've had them apart a few times and I've had good success with them. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this apart a little bit the bottom end, I probably won't mess around with that too much, that part, because that all looks pretty good. But I'll take this part out because that's where it all goes on. So I'm going to just drain that oil. Like I said, it's particularly nice, <laughs> clean oil, but it's going to have to go. So I'll get that gone in there. And I believe the oil they put in these, if you decide, if you take on this job and do it and you want to put oil back in, I think it's just a standard SAE 30. That's what I was told by a dealer. So it's nothing special. And what it just does is keep dragging up as it's running really from the bottom. So I'll just let that drain off and I'll be back with you and we'll have a look inside the gearbox and I'll show you what I'm gonna replace. So all the oil is now drained. It doesn't really take much. It's only up to probably about there in the pot. So yeah, it doesn't take that much, but I'm gonna go, like I said, with the grease anyway. So now we're in the, inside the gearbox and we can start taking it apart and having a look. Uh, that's where it all happens in that bit really. So let's get that cog off. I have to probably pull that out a little bit to get that off. There we go. And what I'll do is just zoom you in a little bit and then we'll have a look in here and I'll show you what's going on. Well, there we are, I can see in there now. But before I go on, I'll just explain a few things. These can throw up a problem where they overrun, that you let the lever off and they carry on overrunning. Generally, that is bearings are getting weak or, or broke up on them. I've had it happen, so they're not sort of, so it carries on. Um, so this problem wouldn't really cause that. It would be something else. But if you've got the judder, before it sort of takes off, the drive takes off, I've found it generally this 
dog clutch. So there's another circlip there. Sorry, my hands are going to be in a way a little bit here, but it's only getting this circlip out. Yep, that's out. And then if I do that, I'm hoping it will just come out like so. It has. And there we have it. So what I'm just going to do is wipe that off a little bit. And then I'll be back with you and we'll have a look. So I've given it a wipe off now and you can see there, I think there is a little bit of wear on there. I would expect it, but it doesn't look that worn. But right on the edge there, you can just see there's like a little dip in there. If I remember rightly, it should be flat on the top. We'll compare it when the new uh, piece comes, but I think that is slightly worn and that is what I think if I had put this on a mower, I think it would have done that juddering before it started. So that's why I wanted to get this out and check it and, well, and replace it. But there is different ones. The older ones, I think I'm right in saying, it's been a while since I've worked on them. The older ones have multiple splines around there. If you can see that. The newer ones don't have so many splines. I think they, they fit into like sort of... Uh, it's all square. The shaft isn't splined. It's more like six like square bits that come out, if you know what I mean. Um, I'll see if I can get a picture of what the other one looks like. But this is the older one and it has multiple splines. So what I'm going to do at the moment is just put that in there. I've got really as far as I can get with this at the moment because I need to order the part. Check also for play there. There always is a little bit of um, in and out movement. But it's staying on the cog okay, so I'm happy with that. The problem is you get these issues with this gearbox and people mess around with other bits on it, like they'll mess around with that lever. Sometimes that they can crack across there and that will slip and that will sometimes cause it um, or similar problems. But generally it is that, that dog clutch. But yeah, just check around because people will start messing around with them and start fiddling around it uh, on the outside basically of them so that can throw up all sorts of problems when you actually do the proper fix because you know you don't know what someone else has done I can see a few washers in there so I will check that bit there off camera and I'll let you know about that because they've packed out with some washers and I don't know why they've done that but it could be just for the reason because it was juddering so they were trying to stop it um, you don't know these things are old so many people have been playing around with them over the years. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna um, finish the video here and I'll be back with you with a part two and when I've got this new part and then we'll get it put back together and all back together, the rollers on and everything. Uh, the, just before I go, the bearings look decent in there as well. They look pretty good. I think this has had work done on it, um, like I said, because of that grease name there. I don't think it's, um, it wouldn't have had their grease in if it hadn't have been worked on since it was. Anyway, I'll leave it there and I'll be back with you with a part two when I'm putting it all back together. So thanks for watching and I'll be along with another video again soon. So bye for now.